Hai Assalamualaikum and good day everyone So for this video kita akan sambung hidroksi kompang subtopik phenol For this video the learning outcomes are We will compare the acidity of phenol, alcohol and water And then explain the chemical properties of phenol With reference to reaction with sodium, sodium hydroxides and identification test by using FeCl3 solution and bromine water ok so acidity as you all know it is the ability of a compound to release a proton ok so before this kita dah tengok dalam alcohol so it is between normal alcohol and now kita nak tengok phenol phenol means benzene ring and you have OH ok so if the compound preferred to form H3O plus or H plus ion that means the conjugate base that it will form is a very stable conjugate base so if it is very stable your concentration of H plus ion will be concentration of H plus ion will be higher. Okay, so as I mentioned before, acidity is determined by the stability of the conjugate base. So, lagi sesuatu compound to prefer untuk form the conjugate base, maksudnya lebih stable, that means dia adalah lebih acidic. Okay, so anything that stabilize the conjugate base will make that acid more acidic, lebih acidic lah, bersifat acidic. Okay, the higher the stability of the conjugate base, that means higher the higher the acidity. Okay, so untuk phenol, since you have this phenol structure, okay, so phenol akan form phenoxide ion. And they akan release H plus ion. So, phenoxide ion ini adalah the conjugate base. So, the acidity of phenol, it is due to the delocalization of negative charge of phenoxide ion which cause the ion to be stabilized by resonance effect. So, resonance effect ni kita dah tengok dalam chapter benzene. Okay, so basically the same concept which is the delocalization of electron ataupun delocalization of the negative charge. So, kita akan tengok dalam phenoxide ion. So, bila kita cakap tentang stability of phenoxide ion, first mention about the delocalization of negative charge ataupun electron dalam phenoxide ion. Okay, so you can see the electron akan delocalize around the ring. So, ini semua adalah the resonance. Ini resonance structure. So, maksudnya phenoxide ion can form between this structure. Now, we will look at the acidity of phenol, alcohol and water. So, kita akan compare lah which one is most acidic. And untuk alcohol, water and phenol, all of them are classified as weak acid. They act as proton donor in aqueous solution. And remember that acidity increase because of the stability of the conjugate base. Okay, so lagi stable the conjugate base, dia akan lagi lebih bersifat acidic, more acidic. Okay, because of the concentration of H plus ion, lagi bertambah banyak lah dihasilkan. And, if you see the value of pKa, okay, so pKa, the pKa, the lowest pKa, maksudnya dia adalah the most acidic. Okay, so... Untuk this three data kita ada phenol, water and up, sorry ethanol, alcohol in in this example. 
So for this example, kita ada phenol, water and ethanol. So kita tengok PKA, PKA phenol adalah the lowest. PKA 10. And then ethanol, PKA 16. And then susun dulu ikut according to the acidity. So phenol will be the most acidic and the least acidic is ethanol. And why is this? Okay, so kita tengok bila kita form the ion. Okay, ataupun ini adalah dia punya conjugate base. Okay, so bila acid, okay, dia akan form its conjugate base. Ini basic yang kamu dah belajar uh, semester 1. Right, so for phenol, kita akan form phenoxide ion. And remember that phenoxide ion... Dia ada resonance stability. So, the electron akan delocalize into the benzene ring. Masuk dalam benzene ring. So, for phenol, dia prefer untuk form this conjugate base. Dia suka. So, that is why concentration of H plus ion pun bertambah. That will make this phenol most acidic. Okay. Next, kita ada ethanol. Kenapa ethanol kita cakap the least acidic? Why? Because if you can see here, OH and this part of your ethanol, okay, kita ada contoh CH2, CH3. So, CH2, CH3 ni dia adalah electron donating group. Okay, dia akan donate the electron density. So, dia akan beri ke arah bond O dan H. Okay. So, bila elektron banyak bertumpu dekat bond O dan H. Okay. That means, bond between O dan H ni susah nak dileraikan. Okay. So, itu maksudnya, this Alcohol, which means in this case ethanol, dia tidak prefer untuk form ethoxide ion. Okay, dia kurang least stable. Okay, bila dia tak prefer untuk form ethoxide ion, concentration, what happen to the concentration of H plus ion berkurang. Okay, so bila ada any alkyl group ataupun electron donating group okey dia akan destabilize the conjugate base dia membuatkan um, your conjugate base ni is not favorable to form that is why concentration of H plus ion pun berkurang that will make the alcohol less acidic compared to other Alkohol such as phenol ataupun in this case kita compare dengan water molecule. Okay. So kalau water molecule dia akan straight away form H, OH- dan H plus ion. So tak ada masalah lah untuk water molecule. Tak ada any factor such as this electron donating group. So here are the explanation. Okay. As I mentioned before, ethanol is the least least acidic and kalau kita compare dengan water it is less acidic ok kalau kita compare dengan water sahajalah this is because of the presence of alkyl group ataupun electron donating group so EDG adalah electron donating group on the ethoxide ion that will increase the density of the negative charge on the oxygen atom okay this will make the ethoxide ion less stable compared to hydroxide ion so untuk phenol pula it is most acidic because phenoxide ion form is stabilized by the delocalization of negative charge into the benzene ring okay so remember phenol the most acidic because of the delocalization of the negative charge into the benzene ring. So, hafal ayat ini. Nanti kita akan jumpa lagi 
comparison of acidity dalam next next chapter such as carboxylic acid okey bila kita compare the acidity of carboxylic acid and other compounds okey so now kita tengok reaction of phenol dengan other compounds such as this one is sodium metal so addition of sodium to the solution of phenol in ether at room temperature will produce phenoxide salt ok so kalau di dalam keadaan salt macam ni kamu memang kena tulis O negative and A positive ok mesti tulis dalam keadaan charge begini and dia akan produce H2 gas Okay, so kalau kita compare dengan phenol dengan cyclohexanol. Cyclohexanol ni adalah alkohol biasa lah. Okay, so phenol ada benzene ring and cyclohexanol without benzene ring. Both react dengan NaO. Tapi, okay, remember that NaO is a strong base. Strong base. Okay. So, bila react with strong base such as NaO, only phenol yang akan form this phenoxide, sodium phenoxide. Okay, sodium phenoxide salt lah in this case and produce water molecule. Kalau untuk alkohol biasa, dia tak akan bagi any product. Alright, so kita tengok reaction with PCl5 ataupun SOCl2. So, untuk this case, Okay, kita boleh juga hasilkan al, sorry, um, so kalau, okay, so if we react, uh, kalau alkohol kita react dengan PCl5 ataupun SOCl2, kita akan dapat chloro substitute at this OH kan, but untuk phenol masih lagi boleh dapat chloro benzene. But this one is very very slow. Dia akan reaction dia sangat sangatlah slow. That is why dia akan bagi low yield. Okay, tak banyaklah amount of chlorobenzene that will be produced from this reaction. Okay, so untuk test, apa test yang kita boleh gunakan untuk differentiate phenol ni daripada ada compounds? Okay, so first kita ada bromine water. So, bila kita test phenol, okay, react dengan Br2 in water, bromine water at room temperature. So, you will get this structure ataupun this compound. So, compound ni memang you will get bromine substituted at 3 position. Okay, so kamu akan dapat 2, 4, 6 dry bromophenol. And this one akan bagi white precipitate. Okay, so observation dia from the yellowish brown color of bromine, bromine water will decolorize and will form white precipitate. Okay, next test kita ada by using FeCl3 solution. Okay, so for this test, okay, kita guna reagent FeCl3 solution and this one is yellow in color at room temperature and bila kita reagkan phenol dengan this FeCl3, kamu akan dapat this purple complex. So, observation the yellow solution will turn to purple and you will form this. So, you will form this purple complex and structure dia memang begini. Cara tulis dia, you benzene ring, OH attached to the benzene ring and dari tengah benzene ring, tarik, keluar FeCl3. Okay. 